Uh-huh. Yeah. No. It inter- I couldn't do it. Gotta go. Oh, gotta go. Hello. I'm Pete Cooley for Open the Portal, here to teach a crash course on what you need to know to get the most out of our panel. Stop motion as a special effect. From the earliest experiments in filmmaking to King Kong to the big budget effect films of the 80s, stop motion dominated the world of special effects for decades. The technology grew along with the art form. But a shift occurred in 1993 when the original stop motion unit of Jurassic Park was replaced by computer generated imagery right in the middle of production. A similar situation occurred with Tim Burton's 1996 film, Mars Attacks. Many considered this moment to sound the death knell for the viable use of this fantastic technique as a special effect. Stop motion hasn't been treated as a serious special effect in the film industry for over 20 years. And we here at Open the Portal started asking ourselves one simple question. Why the hell not? We knew we could only find the answers by turning to the true source of the effects themselves, the people who are living it. We're here today to ask the question, what does the future for stop animation as a special effect hold? Please join me in a huge round of applause to the incredible Eric Adkins, Stephen Kyoto, and Tony Dublin! Yeah. All right, one more round of applause for our panelists. As we've all been coming up in the stop motion world, we've seen all kinds of resurgences in puppet animation and in commercial animation, but one place we haven't seen much, besides the novelty, is stop motion as a special effect. And um, so, to start off this panel, I want to ask each of our panelists the question, what makes stop motion special effects unique when compared with CG and other effects? I'll tell you, stop motion to me is magic. It is just magic to think they're going to take these inanimate objects, move them around, and actually create life you create uh, a performance that people could empathize with. So it truly is sort of like being God, you're creating this magic on stage. And when you compare it to CG, I'm telling you, no matter how real CG is, it's always fake. But no matter how fake stop motion might be, it's real, it's physical and tangible. Thank you. 